Madeline. No, okay, sorry. Um, anyways. <laughs> Welcome to the horror hour. Hello and welcome to the horror hour, a place we discuss, we debate, and disagree with George on most things. Mm. It is I with the <laughs> co-host, the ever so skinny, ever so petite, David, and one of my other co-hosts, the Harriet Tubman of the Horror Podcast, Horror Hour Podcast, George. Hello, Yutaka. Hello. <laughs> and I'm tired already. George, how are you? How are you doing today? I'm I'm ready to to have a lot of fun with this one uh-huh. very much I've... so mm-hmm. and patient zero of the monkey pox hello liam how are you darling she is a fat cunt um <laughs> hello <laughs> and i had to do the intro because i had to introduce this our special guest today and i i i love him so much he's like my white brother he is the he is the gay brother I wish I had growing up, and he's everything. He has a YouTube channel. Nick says, boo. How are you, my darling? I am so good. Uh, y'all, y'all. <laughs> I'm so fucking excited. <laughs> I am so uh, excited. Like, I couldn't sleep. I couldn't sleep. Oh, well. well. Or is that not just the arthritis? Well, I mean, it was the arrow. <laughs> but, yeah. but yes. Thank you guys for having me. I'm so excited to be here. Oh, anyways, I love you. So anyway, I just have to say that. So <laughs> and now I just started watching. I had to pause halfway through because I was like doing some stuff. But your orphan reaction <gasps> first kill today. So good. <sighs> yeah, that, like I wanted to watch yours last night, but I was up to like two, three o'clock in the morning trying to finish mine. But I refused to watch yours until I could finish mine. <laughs> uh, everything. Well, you know, it's the respectable Christian content that I'm here for. So. Exactly. Anyways, for today, we're going to be all I, I was worried for this episode because George, you know, we we're going to be discussing movies from the 80s. So I was a little bit nervous, but today we're going to be discussing the best, the worst, which for me, 80s, I don't know, but um, 80s, 90s and early 2000s, the best, the worst. So I just know. George, anyways, um, yeah, so I just. <laughs> You know, this is just ought to be exciting or thrilling for some people. Um, <laughs> I guess we just start from oldest to youngest. So, oh. Yutaka? Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh, okay. All well, right. Well, we didn't do the 60s. We just do 80s. So, let's, you know, it's more, you know. That's fair. I mean, I couldn't say, you know, we could have done 20s, Nosferatu. Oh, nope. That was earlier than that, I think. Oh, fuck. Okay. So, <laughs> we're, we're t- mm. <laughs> call me <Pearl>. Deborah. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, so we're 80s and are we doing the best or worst first? Are we going to do like best and worst at once? Or are we going to do like best and then worst? We'll do best. All right. Uh-huh. So for the 80s, I was thinking of a film that kind of like embodied the 80s, but also it's a film I enjoy. It's got some really good effects and some of it takes place in a movie theater. So I had to go with the remake of The Blob. It, I love that movie. It's a great film. <laughs> and it's got some gnarly practical effects. And the kills. I remember because I had the I actually had the VHS growing up. And it was like the it was so creepy. But it was it was like the blob, and then it was like, like the guy like getting sucked into mm-hmm. oh, so good. I love I love an art cover. Like that's that gets me hard every time. Oh, <laughs> I remember you seeing see George's face. No, it's a crazy <laughs> pleasure. I can't see George, honestly, because it's just you, all four of you. So I'm having a good old time. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn, here's George. Never mind. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, so, um, who here has seen the Blob besides George? I've Both seen it when I was a kid. Liam. Oh. You Brits today. Okay. Well, he dressed up as the blob. <laughs> that's just how I live my life. Not <laughs> technically the color. I mean, one of these days oh, is the blob Liam pink? is going to come through this yes. green bitch. The blob is pink. <laughs> <laughs> Liam, I was like, mm, I mean, that was good. 
You got to respect that. <laughs> well done, David. You've got a funny. <laughs> I do try, Papa. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. I love it. it's so cheesy it is so ridiculous the acting is like questionable but I love it so much it's like a comfort and it's got the chick from uh the Saw series too that when she was super young <gasps> the, the um Shawnee, Shawnee, Shawnee Smith. Smith. Becker. oh my god mm-hmm. from, from Becker the girl from Becker? Oh, oh my god hold up you did not say the girl from Becker that's I love where I it. I know her from. That's where I, I first saw her, right? Isn't it? She one of the nurses? She was, yeah, she was on Becker. That's she amazing. She was fab. I love that show. Oh, my God. Anyway, it's a good show. I'm did, aging myself. Anyway. Didn't she have a, like a reality TV yes, show? Yes, she did, Nick. And it was called Scream Queens. And she used to come on every episode That's and she'd be like, you can win a leading role in Saw 6. And I was like, bitch, let's go. And the girl from Source, the girl who was in, she was in two films, I think, actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she was amazing in that. It's all on YouTube, guys. It's amazing. I rewatched it recently. Well, season one, anyway. Sorry, that got me really excited, Nick. Because <laughs> I, I love like... it. Is actually a fun reality show. But yes, she was in it. Kevin Dillon's in it. It's a good film. That's that's what I'm gonna go with. You haven't seen fun reality until you've seen The Housewives of Sydney. Ooh, now, aren't that's... you? I feel so proud that I introduced you to that. I, 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 I'm Lisa. <laughs> I'm Lisa. It's genius. I, uh, anyways, oh, so good. <laughs> so good. You can't hit me. <laughs> The second oldest is nobody wants Liam. to say it. Who is <laughs> Liam? Liam. Oh, <laughs> you don't look a day over sixty, Who? darling. <laughs> no, I'm twenty. No, <laughs> I'm plus seventeen. I'm um, times two. Fuck off. <laughs> I'm just a young spring chicken. Leave me be. Um, I've seen more films than George. Don't bully me. You don't have to bring oh, we'll it get, back to me. We'll get to George. Trust me. We'll get <laughs> yeah. to George. Just, just wait. Darling. You need to be worried about what's going on over there. Would you be worried about what's going on over oh. here? Oh, I'm but not going to make take abuse you wrong way. from someone who is haunted by their own hair. So haunted, Dolan. That shit's never here. It's never coming back. Just, just, just occasionally. Lean. <laughs> get the spray. I ain't. Don't they do the spray? Oh, could you imagine? <laughs> fucking, just like hair here, and then just like just lines of <laughs> just <spray>. black. <laughs> it's not even the colors; just black. It's yeah. just... <laughs> anyway, other than my hair, so, Liam. Uh, hi. Um. So for best for the eighties, I went with Ghostbusters because I oh. looked at this from a perspective of well, what do I watch the most from that decade? That's even that's technically classed as a horror. Um, horror comedy, it's, but yeah. it's a comedy. It's a horror comedy. Yeah. George has checked um, I have seen Ghostbusters. No, no, no. I just I but I know your taste. <laughs> yeah, it's my <laughs> taste, but I've seen it. What taste? <laughs> oh. He doesn't like comedy and horror. I think comedy goes great with horror. But you like Look Scream. At- that's different. I know. It's different. Oh, no. we, we stop asking questions. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Nick. We stop. Yeah. We, we just stop. <laughs> we just let him. Let yeah, do what he does. <laughs> um, so yes, so I went with Ghostbusters because Zool, Zool is great. I am confused. Is, is the Ghostbusters? I don't know what's happening is anymore. Ghostbusters? No, is this big space just like confused at everything? <laughs> it's, what is Ghostbusters the first one? Is that the one where she, where um, Sigourney Weaver's Sigourney all Weaver. like floating? Yeah, yes. oh, because she is so fabulous. She looks amazing. Movie. Oh my yeah. god! Oh my god! I love that. her hair and that makeup. Yeah. All oh, mm-hmm. great scene. Uh, okay, when... all right. I'm not mad so, at that. So is, Liam. is she the is she the gatekeeper or is she the key? No, she's the gatekeeper. Uh, yes. And then Rick Moranis is the the key master. I would have hit that. Rick Moranis, like Warney Weaver. Well, her too. She was good. You can't ignore that. Wait but a minute. I think, should, I think we should circle back to Utaka saying he wants to. Who do you want to fuck? Rick Moranis. Rick Moranis. Oh, he'd like be a good time. Okay, you want okay. that like dad nut? Like, yeah, <laughs> you know. Do you want him in Who? like you know from Honey Little Kids. Shop of Horrors, or do you want him like, Ooh, not, like yeah, like Honey Shop and the Kids? Ooh, okay. Suddenly, see who is the who is the no, smart Adam. one? In the side. Oh, Egon. 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 I would take oh, him. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah, I would. Harold Ramis, R.I.P. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, 
Even even the ghost of him in the new one, I would take that too. Oh, <laughs> the, the CGI ghost, I would take that. I haven't seen the new one. No, it oh, it's so got, good. See if it he's so got new. Let's see if he's got life. news. <laughs> Oh, I like that, Liam. Good, good yeah. for you. Yeah. You tried. Thank you. I've seen lots of eighties horror movies. Mm-hmm. I just wanted one that I thought was true to myself, which is something that I rewatch all the time. And Stay if you stay Marshall, true to yourself, man. you'll make it far, and people will exactly. like you for who you, except George. And but, I um, really appreciated yeah. the, as you said, I really appreciated the representation of the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. Mm-hmm. It matters. Yeah. Get naked now Something and show us. Let's fat see. and white. <laughs> <laughs> I've already flashed my tits enough for you, boy. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I just can't get enough. <laughs> <laughs> who's Anyways, next? Who's, who, the who's the third? You're older than me, David. But I know is is yeah. Nick uh, is Nick younger than me? It Nick is thirty. Nick. Nick's thirty. Nick's oh yes. I'll be thirty-two soon. Honey, I thought you were about twenty-four. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Um, let's see. So the best for the eighties. So this movie is just, uh, it is one of my all time favorites. I could watch it over and over. I've been to all the filming locations, but the shining, (gasps) the shining is so good. And there, let me tell you that movie is just a, a visual wank for me. It's so good. It's so like the carpet, the the bathroom, it's just it's a visual spectacle. And Shelley Duvall, Shelley Duvall, like like they tortured Hello. her ass. But Shelley Duvall was everything in that movie. Everything. She like and, wars, on, huh? on a daily on a daily basis. I say, get away from me. Yeah. <laughs> Danny. Love it, love it. Danny. I actually thought as well that the girl who played her in that Doctor Sleep did a really good job of like mimicking her voice because I was like that I'm not looking at you Utaka we know you hate that. I know but I'm just talking about that in terms of <sighs> Shelley Duvall proud but Shelley Duvall yeah she did icon. she did really really good in that movie she sounded just like her now the Jack Nicholson one in that movie though mm. he looked like him but he didn't talk like him mm-hmm. but I still love Doctor Sleep so that's fine adore I can say I mean, Rose the Hat. Rose the Hat? Oh, my God. She turns... Okay, I did like her. ...my entire mm. pussy out in that movie. Oh, my God. Because, mm. you know, like, nobody saw that movie. It, like, flopped hardcore. But I was in... Yeah, I, opening weekend, I was in the theater by myself. And when <laughs> she came on the screen, I'm like, there's nobody in the in the aisle. And I'm just like, y'all, do you see this? Do you see her? Do you see <laughs> the bone she structure? <laughs> when she was like, oh, right, little child, bitch. I was like, oh! Bitch she child, wanted to she be, bitch child. I was like, oh my god, girl, she don't play, honey. I mean, I would have been sucking lives too. I don't give a how shit how old you are, honey. If I say if I if I get to look like her, I'd be sucking the whole playground, honey. Oh, that sounded wrong. I'm so sorry. Anyway, I, let's move on. <laughs> I think we need a um Rose the Hat slash Esther movie. I think that would be. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I want Esther to go to Miss Hannigan's, honey, and turn the party. Oh yes. <laughs> Mm-hmm. It's a hard knock life. Anyway, she'd be iconic. Yeah. With the bow. Yeah. Mm. Look she'll at take that Sondheim sh- punch. She'll take Thank Annie you. by that wig, bitch. And yeah. Shave it off. Putting that drama to Gary to use. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, then, David, what about you? What is your top best 80s? I, I mean, how? I already how? know what it is. No, no, you don't. No, you oh. don't. No, oh. you don't. Because I was going to, like, say, like, yeah, it's probably, like, you know, Slumber Party Massacre or, you know, like, there's so many. Or, like, The Burning. Well, The Burning came out in, none of The Burning came out in the 79, 80, something like that. But I went with the, my first love and my first introduction to horror slashers. And the poster was so cunt that I was just like, oh. And it's April Fool's. Oh, it is a comfort for me. It was the first time because the poster, I was like, because it's basically like the entire party and then the hostess with the long uh, hair and it's, a, and it's a rope, like a noose as her hair is tied up and she has a knife behind her back. And I was like, oh. And I remember watching this movie and it was the first time I was gagged because I was like, oh, they don't play me. Like, it's... Oh, so you the- must have watched it young then because you've been gagged plenty. Well, well, no, no, no. I was gagged before when I, I used to go to, I used to be an altar boy. 
So, uh, yeah, yeah. So, um, but, <laughs> but the point is that movie is so crazy, and I, I know that it pissed people off because it was like the gag is. I don't know if you, has anybody y'all seen April Fools? I have actually seen that film. No. Yes. Yusaka. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, okay. <laughs> Are you and, kidding me? No, I'm, I was just looking at Liam. I was like, oh, okay, never mind. Um, <laughs> and it, oh god, I'm turning into George. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Except with hair. Get the spray, George. Don't worry about it. Get the spray. I got you. Um, but it is so good. The gag is like wild, and it's like when I first saw it, I was like, this is some bullshit. And then, but the ending is so good. The kills mm-hmm. were great. It was ridiculous. The poster, everything about it is so 80s. Oh my God, I can't get enough. I can't get enough. I can't get enough. I watched it. It was the first movie I watched that I was like, oh, this is it for me, bitch. Mm. Wow. Is there a remake of this? Yeah. Yeah. There is? Yeah. Oh, this is there some is. bullshit. It's got um, uh, um, Scout Taylor Compton, who played you? Lori. In I don't know remake. what you just said. <laughs> oh, not her. Who that? She played. Uh, Scout Taylor Compton, she played Laurie Strode in the remake, but she is in the remake of April Fool's Day. The original for me is the one, the only one. It is so good. Stick with that one. It is so good. Yeah. Just to look at the poster, it is so good. Oh, I love 80s posters are the best. And the 80s, oh my God. I really Mm. thought you were going to go prom night. You see, yeah, like that would be obvious, but I don't want to be repetitive on like some. Fair. That's fair. That's fair. But no, April Fool's Day is a. Mm, okay. It's a fun watch for me. Like I, whenever I'm feeling blue, I just put it on. And actually, the worst, the one that I have for worst, is probably my favorite one. So, oh, I can't wait to hear. Um, I'm actually more excited to hear, um, George. What is? Oh Lord. So tell us yours. I watched this film recently um, for something that I'm doing with my friend in October, and I this film is insane, and I enjoyed every just bizarre minute of it and it's reanimator oh, i am i knew you'd be shocked are you proud of me i didn't say nightmare on Elm Street. you enjoyed reanimator i had so much fun because i was like i expected nothing going into it because i had no idea what it was and i was like this Damn. film is insane and i just had a lot of fun it was just so stupid and like hilarious oh. and i don't again i don't tend to like barbara funny... crampton jeffrey yes. combs the Old cast death. is brilliant mm. like it's honestly i had the best time i've never seen that that's on my list to watch for the channel i would i think it's definitely Ooh. reaction worthy but you will need to blank a lot of stuff because there's a lot of a lot of nakedness towards the end yeah mm. i started that rem- i started yeah. doing um clockwork orange <gasps> and like within the first 15 minutes i was like there's no way i could put this on youtube they've just been raping each other with titties running out for like the last <laughs> fucking 20 minutes of the movie oh. yeah and it just started i love that movie <laughs> that is so but i want to watch it i want to finish it that's oh, a great movie I've seen, but yeah. I've seen i've seen that as a play i saw that as a play I, as well i did play. not expect yeah I they were naked on stage of, oh, I got full penis in my face. You know what I got full penis for? I went Are on they the... still selling tickets? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just no, you know. unfortunately, it was like 10 years ago. Uh, oh, well. Still... You know what? I saw penis for the first time on, bro- on stage. It was an off-Broadway play. I went from by myself because they were like, you know, I try to support gay shit. And they were like, oh, Afterglow, a gay ro- romance drama play, whatever. I walk in. And fell in and... love at the cottage. I w- we're not talking about your thighs. Um, I was, I was talking about. I love, I love Leo. <laughs> um, no, but I walked in and literally it was a small place, so they come. I was sitting in the like in the back, and then from the back they just walk in naked, and I was just like, "What is happening?" I was so confused, and they were having sex. On, well, they didn't have sex, sex, but they were like on top of each other. Right, I was like, "Fabulous!" I had give it a five out of five, honey. And it was a, it was like a fat dick too, because they weren't hard, but oh. it was just like, yeah, yeah, it was nice. so like it the dad bad. from Orphan. I went, to, I went again. I bet you did. Yeah, you bought a season ticket. Yeah, like <laughs> like in Disney. <laughs> but yeah, so mine is Reanimator. I thought it's it's. I think it's like, I know I know it does. It gets a lot of hate. A lot of people don't enjoy. No, it. No, it's a cult classic. I Ooh, kidding me? I enjoyed it. Yeah, I I found it fun. So that is my I, best one. 
I'm. You say no. I, am, I am so. I'm clocked. Yeah, I'm clocked. It's like God knows what's gonna be his '90s favorite. Oh yeah. Fuck. Like, what is that gonna be? Shit. Well, I guess <laughs> then. Um, should I say what my um worst of worst? the '80s is? Yes. The worst. Now, to give some context, we just need to make sure that also George doesn't insert a clip of this because they'll, you know, copyright it. Oh. But um, Halloween three. Season of the Witch. Oh! <laughs> Not a double walkout. The audacity. The gays were pissed. <laughs> the audacity. I'm sorry. This was, um, I'm sorry, a double sachet away was what that was. <laughs> um, yeah, I put, I mean, granted, you do see Tom Adkins' ass, which is nice. Um, but Season of the Witch was something that they thought they were going to make something and it just sadly, we were like, bring Michael back. What we don't want this. Nobody wanted this. This is awful. Wait, even if if even if it was like a completely separated from the Halloween thing, you would still put it in the worst? Yeah, I didn't like it. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm disgusted. <laughs> <laughs> Nick's like, I didn't sign up for this shit. She's, Nick, Where's I, I don't think like fucking faggot. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I'm going to stick with that. That's my final answer. Okay. And what don't you like about it? What is it that are you like? Ugh. You know, I think during the 80s, one of my favorite things, though, is kind of I, I, I'm a gore hound, you know? Mm -hmm. So that I, I mean, like, sure, when their heads got crushed and like bugs came out, cool. But it just was not what I was expecting. And it didn't really, you know, great for, you know, subverting my expectations. But I still just, I was like, ah. you know what, though? Yes. If you didn't call it Halloween, maybe I'd think a little bit different. But even still, I was like, okay, uh, a company's witchcraft. They're going to take over all this. It just wasn't for me. Okay. Wasn't Too for close me. to home. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I could say, but I'm going to keep enjoyed it. Shot. I mean, kids getting murdered. I mean, that was fabulous. Mm -hmm. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. yeah, I, you know, I watched it when I was a kid and I was just like, eh, just not for me. And it's okay. not something I go back and rewatch. So, like, I could certainly th say if it was something that, you know, I would constantly rewatch or anything. I'd be like, yeah, it's not the best of the Halloween series, but hey, I can rewatch it. But I can't. And that's saying something when I still feel like Halloween 6 is the worst. But six, which one's that one? Uh, the one with Paul Paul Rudd. The, you think that one's worse than five? Oh God! Now see, that's difficult because oh, it had Tina. I really loved her. Like I, I just, I, 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 you know, I bonded with her because she was stupid Tina. and slutty and just Tina! made bad decisions. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I, I can't hate five. I'm sorry. Okay. So yeah. Uh because I could watch six and over five of anything. Really? Wow. I just didn't like the mask. I, the mask is distracting to me. That's I, fair. I was like, what is happening? Like, what in the botch is going on up in this bitch? I like, <laughs> yeah. it's botched. It, like, Michael got tucked on. Anyways. <laughs> but anyway. I guess, <laughs> Liam, let's hear yours. So, mine is Sleepaway Camp. <gasps> Ooh. I think I know where you're going to go with that, though. So continue. Because mm -hmm. if the last five minutes of the film didn't happen, it would be a good film. But the last five minutes happen. That shouldn't <laughs> have been appropriate then. It isn't appropriate now. I'm not having it. <laughs> Jesus sage Christ. Okay. <laughs> you can quite de well, defend why I'm wrong. I, well, listen, I'm not the one. I'm not the PC police, honey. So you ain't got that. That, that just blew right <laughs> over me, honey. Girl, don't try with me, bitch. <laughs> I haven't. I haven't seen that movie in a long time. But um, that is. Doesn't somebody get like a flat iron shoved up their Pikachu in that movie? Yes. Do and they? how could you not like that? And they um, do. 
That was they don't so show it's off screen. It's off That's, screen. I, I will oh, say okay. one of my things that I did hate about that movie, and yes, there are it is problematic, but I hated how some of the kills were just off screen. So you didn't get to enjoy like I certainly, you know, again, I love the gore, so give me the well, gore. Well, I love the I loved the effect of like for example, with the guy that they remember the the rapist when they threw when he fell into the bat the hot thing yes. like th that looked so good and, and okay, the that's true. and the guy in the ocean remember when he got stabbed when he had the, on top of the yacht the yacht the the remember when he was in the water and he 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 got to toppled over and he was on, on underneath oh. the, and then the worms were coming out of uh, there were a lot yeah. of cool i don't know i like but that's what i'm saying like if you took away the last 5 minutes of the film the film would be good but the last 5 minutes of the film shouldn't have happened and I'm sorry, but no, I don't agree with it. I didn't like to watch it. It made me feel uncomfortable. It made me feel like I'd wasted time um, enjoying something that shouldn't have been enjoyed. Because it was just it was just so ridiculous. Like it was oh. for shock value, and honestly, it was for sure. Yeah, it was. It's interesting it when you see shocking. the making it was just of disgusting. it. Have you seen the making? Like how they I did that? I don't really want like, to watch. I don't oh, want to watch the making. That of it. was. Well, it I was mean, bad enough that I had to see a child's penis once. I don't want to. No, that was a grown man. The... That was a grown man, and they like did a cast. Wow! Like... Now you're shaming penis sizes. Wow, Liam! <laughs> now you're problematic. Oh. <laughs> that was a man. Yeah, they. Yeah, they, they did can't like show your kids. They... Yeah, they could. <laughs> that was a. That was a... <laughs> you think that they were they were going to show a kid sick? Versus a grown man. Let's maybe pause between those two words because if YouTube starts picking up that shit, that, <laughs> <we're> not... <laughs> that was a that was a grown man. Child porn. <laughs> anyway, okay. I thought it was. Hell, so the, I was um, like, this is disgusting. The, it's still it's, disgusting. Okay, that's but fair. But yeah, no, the thing they, that haunted me was just the look on her face when at she the had... end. Well, I, I was just like, I... oh. <laughs> I've definitely done that, like right before sex, just to freak somebody out. Like we all take off our clothes and then they like, turn. As you're coming, <laughs> what kind of Wait, faggot but, is going on on this so, day? Hold on, do they stay or do they leave? Wait, as you're coming? No, just right after the clothes come off. Can you imagine that's your cum face? <laughs> 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 like you're just laying down and he's on top of you like <laughs> that, Not I gotta try that one I gotta try that one anyway <laughs> okay oh, a sleepaway oh. camp there fair enough whatever you everyone's oh. entitled to their opinions you know though she did make a career off that face by the way oh she, Felicia Rose checks. like mm. yeah hello. she's invited to every hard convention so sweet yeah and she's stunning she's gorgeous I love mm -hmm. her oh my god she's gonna be in the new Terrifier that's oh no oh wait. no wait <gasps> next question go on then Nick. what's your worst okay well <laughs> this movie is so bad uh my worst pick is jason takes manhattan <laughs> that movie is so fucking boring that movie it's is so just camp, so though. oh my there's camp and then there's the... it, it's like uh, if you turned a movie into an ambient you that haven't seen Jason boring Jason. until my pick for early 2000s. But oh, talk. Okay. I fell asleep twice boring. trying to watch this movie. But anyways. Jason Takes Manhattan. The best thing about that movie is the poster. They had a so teaser poster, poster and they had the good. regular poster. And the posters mm -hmm. were baller. Majority of the film, they're not even in New York. When they get to New York, you're either in an alley or you're That's in right. a sewer. Aside from like the 30 second scene of him walking down Times Square. I remember when I was watching this growing up and I was so excited to see it. I remember like he falls off the boat and then he's climbing <laughs> back up the boat. And I don't know if they just didn't have the budget or if they didn't have the time, but like he's got like, you know, the head makeup on his arms. It's just all Kane Hodder arms. Stop. They just completely forgot to do the makeup <laughs> on the rest of his body. I need to go back and watch that. Oh, <sighs> that's funny. Oh, it's, it's so bad. To so this so day, I, I've always said this, that part two is the scariest one out of the entire franchise. With the bag on his head? 100%. It yeah. is. To this day, I tell this to Yutaka when mm -hmm. they're in the bed, in the dark room and both of them are like, it's pitch black and both of them are like, I think there's somebody in this room. That shit to this day. Because if somebody says that to me, no, ma'am. 
I'm, I'm jumping out windows. Like, it ain't I, right. I have this fear of like someone just like running at me from far away. And that the scene at the end of that where where she's like in his like cabin or whatever, and you can see <gasps> out the window and you see him just running up and she has no idea. That's oh, shit out of me. <laughs> it's terrifying. That's the scariest one for me that I that it creeps me out. <laughs> I, I I go back between that and four because four was done very well. Three was eh, but four. I thought they did a good job. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I, I will say two had some legit scares in it that were just. Yeah, I don't think you see any more in those films. Right. <gasps> and then and, and the guy that, get, that goes down the stairs in the wheelchair. Ooh, Hilarious. It was so far. I would have been spinning those wheels like you have no idea. Right? Yeah. Oh He'd be like, pull up to the bumper, daddy. No. <laughs> George doesn't get that reference. I'm um, no, I don't. I assume it's from something gay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know who Grace Jones is? Darling? Yes, I knew who Grace Jones is. Okay, just asking. Just but that's sure. a, but that's only because she's featured on Beyonce's new album. Oh, I've not I've not Christ. listened to Beyonce's new album. Oh, wait a minute. Cut wait that out. Cut that out. We don't need to lose the gay man. audience. Um. Yeah. But I have yeah, listened it's... to "Hold Me Closer," Tan, and it's terrible. So everyone needs to stop trying to make it happen. Um. Thank oh, you. Anyway, you know what the fags are like. Mm. I sometimes. Oh, anyways. oh, okay. So, um, yeah. Uh, wow. I'm God, tired, this y'all. is like a Megan and so Missy moment. Thanks. Thanks. I'm so thanks, tired. George. Um, so I think uh, the next person. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I need to. This is a movie that I love, but I showed it to a friend of mine who's kind of like Liam, and he was like, "How dare they do this?" Movie? <laughs> And I was like, just watching this movie, I was like, what, what? There's like more of these. What are you talking about? This film is fabulous. And it's called Angel. It's from 1983. Have any of y'all seen this movie? Nice. Is this the with the cover of is the this, two girls wait, wait, back wait, wait, wait. to back? High school honor student by day, yeah. Hollywood's hooker by night. <laughs> it is it's so good, everything. Though. It is so good. It is so wrong, but it is so right. I watch it. Well, again, this is another one. Whenever I'm feeling blue, I just put it on repeat because it's <laughs> literally a high school student who is has is a hooker to pay her bills mm-hmm. because mama's dead. She's living alone. But in the mix of that, there's this Hollywood, there's this like killer who kills, who's killing hookers. Well, sex workers now today, but back in the day, hookers. And it is so ridiculous. There's a, there's gay folks. There's transgender. There's lesbians. There's butch. There's femme. It is gay. It is crazy. It could never be made be made today. It would get canceled. It would. It, oh my god! But it is so good. It is ridiculous. The kill, the like killer is the killer is so fine. I was like, y'all can't do this to me. There's a there's a scene where he's like in his in a motel room and he's like working out and getting all sweaty and then he just like takes his shirt off and it's like mm, and he's like looking out the window, looking for his next victim. Oh, and, and then this is fights. your worst one. You seem like you like it. Oh, I love it. I just think it's the worst because it could never be made today. And my friend was like, this movie's horrible. Like, do you need to stop watching this movie? And I was like, no. Like, what are you talking about? And I think, oh my God, it is so good. I watch oh it all the time. Gosh. And there's it's, a scene where the killer is fighting one of the drag queens. And it is hilarious I in the bedroom. forgot he, about that. He's in a full, for, like in. in a full, like, um, nightgown, like a, like a Catherine Delight, Delish nightgown, honey. And he's like fighting and swinging and all that stuff. Hala- it's hilarious. Angel, it's avenging hilarious. angel, angel three. Oh, oh yes. Final oh yeah, it's a series. <laughs> oh yes. Oh, it's amazing. I watched. It's oh, just the God. fact that like it's angel, avenging angel, and but then the third one, they're just like, oh, we give up. Angel three. Yeah. yeah. Um. <laughs> and they did amazing. an episode on Joe Bob. Like, oh my God. Yeah. It's... Who the fuck is Joe Bob Briggs? I keep seeing that everywhere. Who is that man? He's like the Elvira, like a male Elvira, yeah. like a horror host. Well, I know who Elvira is. I haven't watched that movie before, but I know who Elvira is. It's on my list. It's on my list. Oh, I've my seen list. it. It's on my list, but I know who Fuck, she is. I can't is. stand up because I don't have any pants on. But anyways, um, <laughs> let's move on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The, everyone's going to get canceled this episode. You have. Oh. Anyways. OK, George, let's hear it. Yeah. Um. So this one, I mean, I think it's oh, classed yeah. as it's classed as a horror. I enjoyed it when I first watched it, but I rewatched it recently, and I was like, "This film is terrible. It makes no sense." Um. And it's it's Jaws: The Revenge. Oh. Um, <laughs> because like that, the fact that this creature of the sea 
like is so determined to find this family that it's like traveling across the globe to find them. I'm like, I'm like this, this animal doesn't care about you. Stop trying to make it happen. Um, and I just think sometimes it like, I, 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 I do kind of enjoy watching it, but I just think when you look at the original and then you watch that, you're like, oh, it's a shame that this is what happened to this mm. franchise. Like it should just been one film there's a lot of franchises out there that should have been one film in the 80s but could you um, name they're, still, one? they're still could going you, today i mean could i you could name? yeah there's going to be a brand new one coming soon to um peacock so that'll be nice but um so oh and i think it's going to be in cinemas as well or something but um you are uh, I, 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 are you talking about hellraiser how no, yeah, hellraiser yeah, yeah. no he's talking about hellraiser he's talking about halloween no hell hellraiser is going to Hulu. And Hulu and HBO uh, Max because it's yeah. getting a Nick, can we just Plus in the UK. <laughs> <laughs> oh but my god. Anyway, sorry, that went off and turned you. But yeah, Jaws the Revenge is just like they just knew me. They only need to make I actually quite enjoyed the was it the third one I enjoyed, which is the yeah, I think so. That's the, the third one is when they're in like Shark the Shark 3D. Yeah, that's the one I like. Yeah, in the water park. Cause I was because I had the game and it was so cool, and you were like Jaws mm-hmm. in the in the water park. Anyway. Um, but I just think the fourth one is just not needed and it's um it takes away from the original being so iconic. Personally. The fourth one is the one where at the end where it, like the shark comes out of the water and it roars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you're like, <laughs> what? I don't yeah. remember that. Oh, God, it's I might have to bizarre. rewatch that. So, and you're you going to roar in okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All so, right. yeah, that's my worst. Right. Oh, I guess well that's done. okay. Thank you. Now I've, that's I feel a lot better. That's the eighties done. That's your Taka's era done. Yeah, let's move on to your era, Liam. Thank you. Well, so, you Taka, best yes. of the nineties. Okay, again, I went with something that um, I really enjoyed um, in the nineties. I was also like really feeling like the the creature feature vibes, and so uh, mm. I was trying to think of what was something that just it it didn't do well at the box office, but it still was it, it was really great. And dare I say, better than a certain other film that I I just never like to mention. So I'm gonna go with Mimic. Have any of you seen that with Mira? Sorvino, Mimic is good. Um, I'm on the movie you don't want to mention, huh? I'm on the movie you don't want to mention. Oh, Jeepers Creepers. That was in the nineties. No, no, no. Oh. But if you see Mimic and you see the creatures and yeah, you could kind of, yeah. But anyways. I've never seen this movie. No. What is it about? A creature? I have. Mimic? Yeah. It's yeah. pretty good. What's it about? about? Oh, <laughs> oh sorry. About. Yeah. <laughs> I want the... You're so specific, darling. I love it. Let me, yes, let me. Oh, my goodness. But like, like two or three sentences. I don't need like a paragraph. Oh, okay. Well, stop being a. Cunt. He's a bossy bottom, darling. <laughs> I know. Jesus. <laughs> no, it's just about a uh, entomologist, um, Dr. Susan Tyler, who is the amazing Mira Servino. Um, genetically created an insect to kill cockroaches carrying a nasty disease, and now the insects are out to destroy their only predator, which is mankind. Oh, someone read the synopsis. I did. Yes. And also, I just realized who the director was, so it makes me love it even more. I didn't realize mm. he was the director. Mm. So, since David has not seen this movie, you've technically heard the score a little bit, because in Halloween H2O, how they reuse the score from, like, Scream and Scream 2, they also reuse part of the score from Mimic. Really? I did not know that. Oh. Yep. Oh, I'm going to have to... Because Marco Beltrami did that score, too. Mm. Del Toro directed the film, so... Uh, He directed that film. I have to watch it again today. He directed Mimic, yeah. Uh. Mimic is really good. I'm Actually, it's one of my favorites from that era. So I wanted to give something that's, you know, not going to be so... um, Obvious? Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. So... (laughs) <laughs> You're never gonna be here, so pipe down. So, oh. uh, Liam, what's yours? Well, she wasn't in the. She's not gonna be in the sixth one. So, George, <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> um. So, for my best nineties, I went with Sleepy Hollow. 
<gasps> oh my god! Because again, I was oh. picking films that I rewatch all the time, and okay. Sleepy Hollow is the one that I will regularly go back to because um, Christina Ricci is an icon, um, Miranda Richardson as <laughs> what I can't remember what she, was it Lady Crane, um, like Jesus Christ, ate every bit of scenery up. Campus shit. She was just everything. Um, I, just across the board, I love that film so much. It was so like pretty to look at. The acting was really good. Um, and yeah, I just really enjoy watching Christina Ricci. She was. So that's why I picked film. it. Okay, she was. She really was. Glad. I love it so much. Okay. No one's. I had a hard time picking best for the nineties. But I went with that one. Oh, there's a lot of great 90s films. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. So I was going to pick The Faculty, but... That's actually a good one. That's a solid choice, too. Yes. That some people haven't seen. I'm just so busy. <laughs> 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 this is just so illuminating. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. You haven't seen The Faculty? No, I haven't seen The Faculty. Well, I haven't seen Elvira, so I guess we're even. Well, oh, if you, when you no, watch no, no, Elvira, no, no, no. I'll no, no, react no. to faculty. Okay, all right, all right. Ooh, October? Ooh. That, that needs to be a double name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One movie is not like the other in this scenario. Oh, uh, honey, I am sure. Uh, <laughs> 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 wow. Okay. How's your head? Anyways, I'm sure there's no <laughs> scene like that in uh, faculty. Well, Anyways. Uh, no. <laughs> wow. <Well, Nobody. laughs> uh, oh? Okay, never mind. The faculty oh. brought it too. It is. Um, so Nick, what's what's your nineties pick? All right. So I I, I didn't want to pick the the usual ones because if, if I had to pick, it, like normally it would be either be like Scream Two, Halloween H two O, and then New Nightmare. But the one movie from the nineties that it, like I can't I can barely even turn on because it scares the shit out of me is Ooh. Arachnophobia. <gasps> oh um, yeah, that um. movie like my phobia of spiders it, it uh, so when i was a kid a little backstory when i was a kid me and my parents were moved into this apartment and i kept waking up with just hundreds of bites all over my body and only my body <laughs> nobody else would get bit but it turns out i had a really bad spider infestation in my room and we actually had to move out <sighs> because we couldn't get rid of them so i think that's where it started from but like that movie that movie it's so so you good. had uh, they were fucking on top of you, like I, uh, it was a full fucking party. Oh my like, god! Can you the, imagine the, the you walk up in the middle of the body. night and you just did this, and it was just ro- all the all the spiders on top of you, and they would it, just like it would have been like a, a scary movie three George flying out the window. That would be <laughs> oh. <laughs> George. Could you recreate that for us, please? <laughs> oh, but yeah, that oh, movie my. is just absolutely terrifying. And other than like the big two big spiders in that movie it's all oh. real spiders oh that's what I, I remember that like i i've only seen it twice because i can't sit through that um because yeah. some of those are it is and i can't believe they're remaking it um i mm. saw the um posters I, they're gonna cgi the shit out of that right movie, it's, I'm not, sure. it's gonna yeah. be cgi but mm. who knows i mean the guy also did freaky and happy death day so oh. i've got no. And so, that movie is kind of like ridiculous. Like it is, yeah. it needs a sense of humor. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. So it was like yeah. it movies like with anim- like with creature, like with animals. Like mm-hmm. I, I recent, I was obsessed with this movie growing up. But Anaconda, oh, I recently oh, yes! watch it. One. I couldn't watch it like um because Petty Pumpkins reacted to it, and I had to turn it off because I Why? don't. It is so wet, and like when he opens that mouth and it looks like a pussy. <laughs> oh. I was, ah! It was too much. I was like, oh my God. And when he spits him out and it's just wet and uh, I can't. <gasps> it is disgusting. Pussy. <laughs> Speaking of pussy. Did you know, did oh. you know that apparently, apparently, if you like lick the inside of your cheek, that's exactly what a vagina feels like. Mm. What? Mm. Oh, look, I got, oh, look, I got all the gays eating pussy. No. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't feel so bad. Are you you don't watch it for an episode? Let's try it one day and let's come back and see what we come. <laughs> we'll review that next week. Yeah. Episode. I yeah. I am beside myself. Uh, uh, so I'm going to go. Oh, wow. That's an interesting fact. Uh, yeah. uh, so uh, <laughs> I guess we'll, we'll move to David. 
Well, mine is a movie that obviously, I mean, even Roger Ebert was like, this is the movie of the 90s. This is, it's like the best movie ever. Honestly, it's arguably like top five horror movies of all time. Frankenhooker. Like, it is. <laughs> it defined my sense of humor. I was watching this movie as a kid I and I was like. That was 90s. Yeah, 1990. Was it feels 80s. It feels yeah. 80s because it's so stupid and so ridiculous. <laughs> But it is so much fun. I, I mean, obviously, I, I, like Nick said, I mean, I could have done like Bride of Chucky or like, you know, H2O. Or, but, but this is a movie that is so, oh, my God, I watch it. And I, I really wanted to dress up as her one because I was in high school. One, and I, my mom was like, maybe, maybe not. Um, but yeah, <laughs> but it is so good. I love it. Like, it's basically like a mad scientist, his girl, wife, girlfriend. Got decapitated, like it was. It was a full, and he wanted to bring her back, and he was just like, "Let me collect these hookers." Mm-hmm. And woman, you know, and he just and honey, she looked fabulous. She was everything. She was snatched. Everything. She was like a two tone Mercedes, honey. She was one color here, one color there, one color pe- fabulous. <laughs> is that the movie where she's like this? She yes, does this all the time. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay, I know. Oh my god, it is so much fun. It is so stupid, so ridiculous. I love it. It's like, oh my god. It's the best. It's the best. I watch it as another one that I wonder if I'm feeling blue. Pop it on and it's so stupid, ridiculous. I don't have to think about it. Oh, it's a good one. actually. It's so good. It's so good. Oh, I'm sure George loves it. <laughs> I don't mind. Actually, I have seen it. It was a long time ago, but I've seen it and I don't remember hating it. So that's something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. All Who right. knew? So, George? So does, does this mean George is going to have his obvious pick? Yeah, yes, yeah, I am. Spice World, the movie, yay! I I haven't seen the movie. I know the Spice Girls, but I haven't seen the movie. Again, I told y'all, I thought that was the, I thought that was Baby Spice when I saw the Sleet of Chucky for the first time. I was like, oh, that's nice. You know, she looked like Baby Spice. I was like, from S Club Seven. That's Hannah from S Club Seven. Get your girl. S Club Seven. Seven. It was a thing over the. Yeah, they weren't really popular here. They had a show, but. Everyone was watching California Dreams instead. So, if you're 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 a '90s kid here, it was like a Helen Keller, like a not a Helen Keller. Never mind. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways, yeah, George, let's go ahead. Let's hear it. You know, do you know, mine is Scream. Oh <gasps> my God, what a shock! Oh Everybody wow, collapses. Oh. Everybody, because I'm not I'm not changing shit to be like. Oh, I'm just looking for something new. No, I'm not. I'm going to say if, if I name the same film 20 times over these shows, tough shit. You're going to get them 20 times. I'm not changing them for dramatic effect. Um, this When you're getting fucked, do guys like to punch you? Um, <laughs> just, uh, they even, even when they're not, even when I'm not, people just like to punch gotcha. me. Gotcha. Okay. So, Got- okay. It, just check. I've got one of those faces, unfortunately. That's why the hair lies receiving its distress. Um, very but- into donkey, dip, donkey punching. The film, yes, but not not the activity. <laughs> um, but yeah, so mine is Scream because it always, for always, and ever and for always, Sidney Prescott Scream, uh, everybody, life, beautiful, iconicness, Wes Craven, Drew Barrymore, um, reciting the opening every single day of my life, rest- lying on my bed most evenings, saying, um, "Randy, you gave yourself away. Are you calling from work? Is Tatum's on her way over?" Um, you know, just just a lot of a lot of things like that. Um and and I yeah I love it. Wow, it's yeah. But yeah. the thing is, you can say well, but you all like this film, so oh, I love it. We do. I oh, I do. So, like, I absolutely I like love the film. of you. It's we, fun. Yeah, because <laughs> you're never going to be that was beautiful. Like. <laughs> Thank that you, was beautiful George. You didn't bring anything new to the table, but it was beautiful. <laughs> 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 ah. Sort of like these new Halloween films. Um, oh, it was look, I, okay. <laughs> keep Halloween out your fucking mouth, and we won't have any problems. <laughs> <laughs> Don't rile me up, and then I'll keep it out my mouth. That's right. Oh, That's God. right. But yes, it's it's scream. So it's you can all agree. It's a classic, and it's good. It's yes. A, yes. I saw it in theaters. You know, I loved it. Yeah. I love Wes oh, Craven. Bitch. He, you know, has... Is, I love horror because of Wes Craven, because of everything he's created. Yeah. Um. So I get that, George. All so, right, so it's a soldier. Yeah. But 
Yeah, yeah, it might be obvious. But I did also, because Liam's not going to go with me, so I'm going um, on my own, to the Scream Marathon on the 1st of October, which is all films, one after the other, 635 <laughs> minutes, 10 hours in the cinema. £25 a ticket, though. That's good. For I'm not and- travelling all the way down to London to sit in a theatre oh, for 10 hours. Gonna, oh, it's going to be so rank, like, rank in there and just nasty and smelly after like, that long. What the fuck is happening? Who in that wants theater? to sit in a theatre for 10 hours mm. that is going to be so uncomfortable like my ass can barely stand it for a three-hour film it's not sitting there for 10 are you imagine sure? if you were sitting there for 10 hours and the theater was talking and going wild like in scream 2 that would be your worst <gasps> nightmare that would be your <gasps> worst nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> to be no, fair, i, I saw last last year oh. i actually went to go and see and it was like get life changing for me. I went to go and see the original scream. You can you can shake your head, you tacker. I went to see the original scream and it was in its original format as it was shown in the 90s. And I was sat next to a girl who had never seen Scream. And I felt like I was I'd been transported back in time. Cause she was like dead shocked when when Billy and that went, I was like, why is she like, is she like just playing or something? At the end I was like, had you seen this film? And she was like, no, it was my first time. It was great. I was like, imagine being able to see that in the cinema. Anyway. It was virgin, (laughs) exactly. So mine is scream. So let's move on to our worst then, because everyone's sick of me talking about this. Yutaka, what's your worst nineties film? Oh, okay. Well, I went. Wait a minute. Is it the pills or did it? We. I thought we did this already. (laughs) I don't know what you're taking over there. I'm sorry. Oh my god. I really. I'm just like. Yeah. Sorry. Anyways, (laughs) I gotta stop doing that stuff, honey. Anyway, no. Maybe not do a line before we record. <laughs> um, but he did have time to reflect. On he yep. realized he um, is mm. turning into his mother. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I went with a remake um, in the 90s. I mean, this was an awful... Or no, I'm sorry, not a remake. Rem- um, 90s, or I'm sorry, also had tons of sequels. And so I went with an American werewolf in Paris. Mm. Has any of you seen that? He had yes. a passport. There's multiple. There's a second one. Mm-hmm. Honey. It's that terrible. was a contender for my list too. <laughs> it's it's not good. Like, oh God. It, it like I love American Werewolf in London. Uh, I don't think it needed a sequel. Uh, so to have this. And how it all like starts, you know, who the fuck sky di- or um, bungee jumps from the Eiffel Tower. I highly doubt that could ever happen where they'd allow. No, I don't know. Safe. Yeah. Well, and so this happened in the movie. Yeah. Well, it's a movie. Well, I know. yeah, but like in the movie, they're up on the tower getting ready to bungee jump. And then they look over and there's also a girl up there who's like getting ready to kill herself i'm like do, do they not have locks i want to be like the bottom of first. the fucking eiffel tower <laughs> uh-huh and then she jumps and he's like oh god i gotta go save her i'm like what i don't know her and she just softly lands because he catches her and i'm like no uh-uh and, and just uh it was just not that something hilarious to me <laughs> uh anyway and also the werewolf transformation was not that good which is kind of shocking since you know the first one was in the 80s and it had really good practical effects and then they fuck it up mm-hmm. in this one. And so it was just, yeah, all around. It was mm, mm. like, I just didn't need it. The cast was hot, though. I mean, mm. Tom Everett Scott. Yes. You're talking like I know these people. Who, who are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> Words. I'm trying to think of a movie you would know him in. Yeah, I'm trying mm. to look it up. Um. Uh... Um, he was what I think he was one of the parents in 13 Reasons Why. I sure. didn't watch that. You've seen that. George I wasn't 12. Reason. <laughs> but no, I think where George is 13th reason. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Every <laughs> day. George. <laughs> Pipe down, dear Evan Hansen. Good lord. <laughs> do the face, do the face. I was a... <laughs> <laughs> hey. Ben Platt, bless him, he tried. Well, Nick, he is, try. Nick is baffled. What happened? I know. Like, he's really trying, trying to find, find a movie film. that he was in. I wouldn't worry about uh, it. Look, no, Carter. He's ah, ah, look Carter. <laughs> Dead Poet Society. Has anybody seen that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Sure he's in that. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's a classic. Robin uh-huh. Williams. Uh-huh. Okay. uh-huh. Thank, Good thanks for, you. for your time, well Liam. Anyways, yep, Liam. <laughs> um, so, 
this film has already been brought up. I'm sorry. Is that I forgot that we were doing decades, so that's why I thought. Um, I'm sorry. Nope. <laughs> January <laughs> brought up in this for this decade by by my older competitor, and my pick is Mimic. <laughs> and as your worst, hold up. They didn't yep. want to do that. Oh, so the- <laughs> um, so the reason I am picking Mimic for worst is because although I did enjoy the film, in later life, I found out what happened with that film behind the scenes. God, you bloody like so Who are you? Can Barbara Walters? <laughs> no, I just read a book. <laughs> Welcome um, to 2020. Uh, oh, because so, of Harvey Weinstein. Oh, okay. No, oh. no, no, because um, Gil, it's basically, it's not Gilmer Del Toro's film at all. It was his first um, big film. And the studio basically took it away from him. And what we were given was not his film. Oh, Restore the Gilmer so, Del Toro verse. So that's something your reasoning that is actually... why it's the worst movie of the 90s. Yes, because it's not the film that was intended by the director. And <laughs> it's Have a you lot seen of... the movie like, that was intended like a... by the director? No. <laughs> Liam, your takes are so baffling to me today. <laughs> like, okay. It's his opinion. Let him have it. It is. I'm. I'm. No. Yeah. We're just asking questions. We just want a deep dive. We just, you know. We're, I'm so confused. Like, it's not that he hated the movie. He hated the behind the scenes. Other than that, he's like, oh, I yeah. hated the movie. It looked great. It was fun. I, but, but I didn't no, I don't say like... it. Let's. let's I, not know, be I know. I know. I wasn't sitting here fucking saying it's the best thing since sliced bread, love. <laughs> I said I didn't mind the film, mm-hmm. but the shit that went but, on behind the stage. Yeah. I'm not here for it, so I'm okay. not going to support it. Like the Wizard okay. of Oz. Uh, what? Well, it was a set, darling. Hanging munchkins. Um, oh. Anyway. oh, yeah. That wasn't You right. wanted to fuck? What? Um, no. Anyway. George uh, is into fucking munchkins. <gasps> he likes the little people. They make me oh. feel tall. <laughs> <laughs> you um, can spin them so around. Anyway, so, so... Uh, <laughs> Twirl, so, daddy, twirl. Okay, anyways. <laughs> Nick, oh. your turn. <laughs> Nick's regretting coming on. <laughs> Come back anytime, Nick. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> so this movie, um, I'm gonna get dragged for this. Oh, but everybody loves this movie. Everybody fucking loves this movie. And I had never seen it, and I watched it within like the last year. Hocus Pocus, <gasps> not for me, not for me. I, I you're couldn't joking, with, the, right? with the big ass teeth. You're joking. <sighs> you're serious right now? Everyone's like, are you going to react to Hocus Pocus too? No, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> wow. Um, okay, I, I don't get it. I just I, don't get it. That is... I can't tell if you're being serious. No, I'm being serious. serious. Yeah. He's a serious man. Oh my god! Yes. I so watch that film you... the first day every year. The first day of autumn, I watch Hocus Pocus. Well, that's because you're a bit too much. But <laughs> book. That's no, the first no. movie I skip. <gasps> that's the movie I skip. <laughs> Do you like Halloween Town? I love Halloween Town, especially Halloween. Oh, Town Oh, get in the bed, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god! This is Just great. as I thought. So what? Trash. What is it that you don't like about it? You don't think find it funny or like? You know? I think it was like a pacing issue. Like it just, I don't know. I was just bored watching it. Like I get why other people like it. I do get why other people like it, but for me, it just didn't hold my attention. That's fair. I like it, but it's not like it's the a groundbreaking film or it's like Thou the best thing not ever. Speak to master in such a manner. <laughs> Actually, aren't both of those two actors dead now, too? Uh, who? Why so you gotta bring it down? It. Damn. Uh, <laughs> such yeah. a Ooh. glass half empty bitch, aren't mm-hmm. you? Okay, well, let's move on because I mean, I can't. Talk well, this episode's <laughs> ruined. <laughs> that, I, am, I am perplexed. Nick, you honey. ruined the episode. I said what I said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, calm down to me, Sherman. Jesus. <laughs> Oh, this was great. Oh, oh. Come on then, David. First Elvira, then Hocus Pocus. Oh, no. Yes. Bring it. All right. Let, yeah, David. Y'all, I have no idea. The 90s, the worst movie of the 90s? 
Yeah. I again, this is I'm horrible, but this is I, this is a bad movie, but I love this movie. And we've talked about this so many times that I feel ridiculous. I feel like George now. <laughs> it's uh, uh, Night of the Demons three. It is. So it terrible. made me. Al- it made me almost want to fuck women. Cause that Scene. she is so fine mm-hmm. when she gets turned into that lioness cat woman. Mm-hmm. When she's riding, let me tell you something. The way that she rode that man, I was watching the way I was like, damn bitch. But that is not something that I offer at this current juncture. So I'm not fucking pussy <laughs> at this moment. So I, but damn, she was so Pretty fine. Well for the right price, ladies. That's right. That's right. I, I, I was just like watching the movie and I was like, damn, it's not good, but it is so hot. Like when they're fucking in that, it almost looked like a church. When they were fucking like in that abandoned church almost, I was like, damn, this hot. Like to fuck some, imagine, oh, like fucking a, and, anyway, sorry. Um, it, it is so ridiculous when she's sucking the bullet out that gun and she's just dancing on top of him and she's like, oh, because Angela's a bad bitch. She it is. is so crazy. And then the girl that had the snake as a pup, like a, like a sock puppet and it turns into a snake in her hand, like a real snake. And oh my God, it's so good. It is so bad, but I love it. I can't, I, I watch it all the time. Oh my God. Again, it's what we've come to expect from you. Yeah, time. like don't ex- I, I Roger Ebert? Like, come on, now, girl. Like, <laughs> it is ridiculous. Have any, bad, have any of y'all? Um, I know Jutaka has seen this. Yeah. Have any of y'all seen Night of the Demons three? Okay, it's no. hard to find. But, I've only seen yeah. the first one. I know second you one was fun. <laughs> I liked the second one because it had that um that uh warrior nun. So oh did, yeah, she was funny. I love yeah. that. That was but, so yeah. Cool. And, Angela was unhinged in part three, honey. When I mean, Oof. she was fucking and sucking, and she uh, she was horny. It was in a, it was to get some. It was the first time I realized, oh, sucking dick might be fun. Because <laughs> honey, she was like doing like this to the gun, and then when she takes his hand and she's like, Bleh, and all the bullets come out, I was wet. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so good. And again, the guy that plays the boyfriend, he, the blonde guy that was in the Umbrella Academy, and he's, he was so fine. He's not my mm. type. He's more like George's type of the crack addict types. Like, yeah. but he was so fine. Like, like Machine Gun Kelly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, exactly. Like, like that. But he he looked healthier. <laughs> so I was just like, you know, I was he was fine. Yeah. <laughs> I cool. love that pick. That's a good pick. Yeah. And I agree. It's a bad film, <clears throat> but it's enjoyable. Yeah. Um, George, give us a '90s film since this was your era that you didn't like. I mean. Halloween, oh hate, Halloween H2O. Oh my You're God. not. Oh, this, is, this is a lie. This George, is a lie. This is not his George, I mean, George. let's talk about the fact E-jacked. that we're going to talk about E-jacked. Halloween, like the screen robbed off Halloween. I mean, H2O is literally just, they only did it because of screen. Are you being oh, serious? Okay, okay, okay. Now you're just talking about your ass. Like, yeah, I saying? am. No, it's not. It's Halloween. No! Yes, Michael Myers. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that one. Ooh, George, oh, so I they, I, get... oh, look at that. The drama degree does come in Thank handy. You. Uh, you know, I was oh, going to see how far I could God. push it, but then I well thought done. I would actually be ejected from the event. So I thought, I yeah, I was going to say, act your ass out of this room, honey, because I don't want to see it. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to talk about it. Uh, George, Nick was about to, like, actually, like, his dick went into his body. Like, uh, <laughs> I saw red. I saw red. <laughs> I was looking at flights to see how long it's going to take me to get over there. <laughs> Damn. He's into fisting, so don't, don't tempt him. Don't um, tempt me with a good time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you might not get that hand back if you do it at all. <laughs> the descent um, but... based on his asshole. <laughs> no, it's not big enough. Um, yeah, it might be <laughs> craterous. <laughs> yeah. Um. I so yeah, mine is it's um Curse of Michael Myers because I I rewatched all of these last year, the Halloween films, and. I just uh, by maybe and I did rewatch him like in a day. So by that point, I was like, and it that's just a bit rough. Yeah, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hello? that's part six, five, yes. six. Yeah, six. Cool six. Rudd. Okay. Yeah. Um, because it was just like getting to a point where I was like, I'm so done with this bizarre storyline that's been going since the second one that made no utter sense at all. Um, and it, and it just really like corrupted in that one to the point where I was like. Really, because I mean, I will say I really enjoyed. You the, don't like the second one, the second Halloween. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. you don't like it. It's fine. I mean, I wouldn't watch it again. Um, like I'd rather watch Season of the Witch, but 
Hold up. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. So you prefer to watch Season of the Witch over I, Halloween 2? I would watch Season of the Witch out of any of the Halloween films if I had to pick a Halloween film to watch. George, uh, George, are you tr- are you? you like Azalea Banks right now? Are you really <laughs> trolling us right now? Like, <laughs> what is happening right now? Maybe oh, for, George doesn't, I quite, George I quite can't like make rhymes for. like that. Really. She doesn't want to be here. It's a bravery. I, I, I do enjoy Halloween 4. You know, it's they the say like where, being, living your truth, but sometimes the truth is too ugly. Like, oh my god. Okay, anyways. Um, oh but, god. But yeah, curse, like it it just it I feel like it had run its course then and then obviously everything changed with um Halloween H2 and that kind of brought it um all back. But I really think, yeah, they were scraping and then like I mean a lot of people do say if you watch the directors, I mean I did watch it, you know, the other version that it's like that's the real version. That's the and I'm like, no, yeah. neither of them are, darling. Um, well, yeah. I don't agree with that, but okay. the theatrical is way better. Like, Alanda just recently watched it, and mm-hmm. I was so sad that she watched the producer's she watched, cut. Yeah. Oh. Um, I'm still watching. I never watched the producer's cut. I only saw the theatrical. <laughs> well, but, but yes. I, I, I love me some Halloween six. Oh, <laughs> oh, I forgot. <laughs> It's been there all day. I just, I it's sat here and let, like, let him oh say Oh my God, what you should have created the say. Dr. Loomis when he's like, ah! <laughs> yeah. You know, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, then die. Yeah. yeah. I, well, he oh, passed away. George. Um, oh. mm-hmm. All right. Um, but yeah, so I that is mine. It's, I think it's, well, apart from obviously Resurrection, it's the weakest of the Halloween film Ooh, well, films. I forgot about that one. But we don't talk about that film anyway. <laughs> that was in... Early 2000s? That was in the noughties, yeah, the early 2002, I want to say. I could be wrong. 2001, I think. One, yeah. Mm. So that was in 2001? Yeah. I was going to make was a, a joke. Never mind. Sorry. I know Too I dark. was going to as well, but then I thought. Too not. dark. Yeah. Oh, um, oh. Sorry. <laughs> no, 2002, 2002. Okay, okay. thank God, because I was making a joke. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on. Okay, um, yeah. So, so yeah, I'm let's gonna... move on to the, to oh, the noughties. Okay. <gasps> All right. Oh. So um, I decided to choose um, a film that I know David just guessed it on another podcast, The Horror Stands, <gasps> to talk about this because, <sighs> and it just reminded me how much I do really love this film. And you can make a, oh my God, let's just say, drag me to hell. It's a great fucking film. So good. Mm -hmm. It is so good. It's so gross and it's so grimy and it has some good stares. And oh my God, the cast, everything for that film. I love Sam Raimi. I just, that's such a It was the first time that I thought like it would be kind of fun to get your dick sucked by somebody who doesn't have teeth. Oh no. (laughs) Oh, she goes over her face. Oh chin. yeah, and it was like wet coming, like the green water gum coming out of her. Oof! Okay. Oh, she and was, she, like, and she was just offering. She was her mouth was. I was like, "Girl, close <laughs> your fucking mouth! What the fuck?" She was really being dramatic though in that bank, like when she like fell to the floor. I was like, "Bitch!" It like, was her third time. I'm like, "Mama, McDonald's is hiring. Get yeah. a fucking job. Mm-hmm. Like, I, we can't do this three mm-hmm. times." Anyways, but she was yeah. yeah. But Liam, you look like detested by everything that Utaka just said. Oh, I thought Drive Me to Hell was the most boring film ever created. Oh. And I see you've assimilated. <sighs> God. Well, let's let's hear your um... Ay, Dios mio, senor, <laughs> you senor. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> so tell me then, um your pick. My pick is the British classic, Shaun of the Dead. Because we all want to go to the Winchester. Um, what a point. I mean, it's a good film. I like it. It's an amazing film. Um, excellently acted, excellently written, excellently directed, um, hilarious to boot, um, but also scary to boot. So that is Happy why I love Shaun of the Dead. Okay, Oops, dart in the nose. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I like Shaun of the Dead, but I don't know if it's like one of the best films of the of the noughties, but again, it's your opinion. Well, we'll get to you when we get to you. Let Liam speak, please. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I think Liam was done. He didn't have anything I was else. done. It's fine. Good. Yeah, I just really, I, like, it's yeah. I wanted to go with something different from the usual, so I went with Shaun of the Dead. What's like the usual? That. 
I can't remember right uh, now. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Okay, we'll anyway. start calling you Deborah. Anyways, <laughs> as Whoopi Goldberg will say, I'm a check your battery. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Such a good movie, too. Oh my um, God. So, Nick, uh, what's your pick for the 2000s? So, my best from the 2000s is going to be the original Paranormal Activity. <laughs> oh, <sighs> Lord. George, calm down. That is one <laughs> of the... Like I, I, like, I thought I shit myself in the theater. That was wow. how scared I was with that. Because I, like, I was one of those that went into the theater thinking that it was a real movie, <laughs> like about real people. <laughs> I was so fucking scared. And then I realized that it was not real. And then they had this whole thing where like, you could like promote it on like MySpace or Facebook or some shit like that. And you would get your name in the credits. So that's my claim to fame is my name is in the credits of Paranormal Activity for oh. helping promote it. <laughs> what? <laughs> and Word I just tell bitch. everybody that I was in it. Um <laughs> That movie is so fucking good. That movie is so good. Uh, the mm-hmm. the performances are excellent. That made that made so much money, mm-hmm. and yeah. it for me that is what scares me. That like the smaller scale. So you like the Blair Witch uh, Project? I love the Blair Witch okay. Project. But it okay. oh when she gets dragged out of bed, <gasps> her scream. And and, and what was the, it? M- Mika? Mika. 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 Yep. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, yep. we did that give you a flashback? <laughs> so oh, but he was fine too. He was fi- he was annoying. Uh-huh. He was fine. Yeah. He was, and she was. Oh my god! I mean, I just think Katie is like such an iconic. I think that she should be like she's a cool villain. You, I thought what? you were going to say something. No, I, was, I thought you were going to say something else. No, what do you think Sorry, I was going to say? No, I thought you were going to say the whole his you know his whole stick, Lori. I, anyway. You're the one bringing up Laurie Strode. I no, you're the one it. that brings up Laurie Strode every five minutes. I'm not just. Uh, <laughs> Girl, <that's okay. laughs> I actually did like Paranormal Activity, you not as much recently. as you all, but that's only because I just watched it the first time this year. What? Or no, and you watched it, it with me. Yeah, so I did. That made it um, even worse. <laughs> so yeah, I will say watching it at home is not. I I can see why people loved it if you saw it in theater. Because it would be a completely different experience. Kind of like Blair Witch. Like, I love Blair Witch. I saw it in theaters. Watching it now, I still enjoy it. But it's not the same effect. And I think if I had seen Paranormal Activity in theaters, I would be like, oh my god, that was an incredibly great film. But I didn't. So it's a good film. It did make a ton of fucking money. I mean, I think that's pretty much the movie that like built Blumhouse. Because I think up until like, recently, it was considered the most profitable movie ever made. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they were churning those out. Like, I remember the whole, like, um, Saw and Paranormal Activity battling it out at the box office. Oh, my God. Ew. It was good and time. they found the cast on, like, Craigslist. Yeah. That's what baffles me. <laughs> like, oh, my God. I was watching those videos on YouTube of people that answered Craigslist ads, and then they died. They got murdered. Oh. Oof. Were any of the guys hot? No. Oh. No. <laughs> yeah. Well... I mean, once Rigor Morris hit Rigor Morris, Rigor Morris hit. <laughs> Who's Morris? <laughs> yeah, no, it was w- wild. Why? Anyways, yeah. I watched that but, sick shit in the middle of the night. But anyway, in between Golden Girls, don't we all? And Murder She Wrote. Yeah. Oh, yep. Oh, that's good pick. All yeah. right, love him. I think George will have to clean himself up um, while with his rag. <laughs> <laughs> Woof. <laughs> so david what's your pick oh my pick is a movie that had a ch- had me in a choke hold when i tell you this movie came out and i was like yes like i would watch it i would rent it i would rent it and rent it and rent it again it was final destination three. Oh, that yes movie turned me out it, it's one mm. it's the one that i watched the most it's Same. the one that it the kills are insane I, I oh my god when they're in the tanning beds that don't shit. no don't don't talk about it <laughs> what because he oh. goes all the time because i have to go three times a week and get in a swim bed so i just literally stand well, holding on to here's hoping going, oh my god I'm um gonna die. anyways you're so <laughs> oh is it a light <laughs> <laughs> no but that movie and it's the kills were so crazy the 
I love seeing what every movie sets it up to be, like the airplane, the the mm-hmm. it. This one really, and it, I don't know what it, what it is about that this one that make that stands out for me, for me at least. But I would watch it, and I would watch it again. The kill in the gym, when Ooh, that that's head such a goes, nasty one. Bl- I was like, oh my god, and always my fear was like, oh my god, I hope I didn't get in her eye. When when <laughs> I don't like blood. again, I grew up way too educated on the AIDS thing, so I was like, oh my god, no, that's fair. I was a little yeah. kid. Uh, Did you guys have the DVD for this? Yes, when, yes. when it came out, and you could like pick Change, how yeah. the movie went. Mm-hmm. So, so it was like cool. choose your own adventure. And it, it was, it was so like good. the the it was the lady in the it wasn't it in the it, in the, the, it was like the cards, wasn't it? Like two the lady who did the, the what's it what's it called? The what tarot card, tarot card, card. fortune yeah, teller, yeah. Or, yeah. Oh I, my that God. was that was how we figured out that um what's her, the the people that live from the the second one they died. It was all because of the special features. They got like pulled into a wood chipper. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was bad for that. Them. I mean, there um, were so uh, many great kills. I mean, the one with the with the plat 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 plat. What is oh, it in the, in the yeah, room? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh my god, that was so like good. that was such a good. That whole sequence was really just because oh, it was building and building and building and oh my god, that movie did like suspense on another mm-hmm. level. Like it was so good, and that end, I felt so bad. I was like, damn, bitch. Like it always, and, it always breaks my heart because that good. ending, you know, the ending is gonna be like, damn, sorry, girl. But like oh. that's why I love this one because of how they did that. Like. I think the first, like that was the first one that they where they had an ending like that played out really yeah. well. I mean, I know mm-hmm. the first one had that little bit, but that whole sequence, like we just got, for, we started out with the roller coaster sequence, which is so great, and we're gonna now end with this like massive subway sequence, and then the I, ending uh, where all you hear is the scrap, the, the scratch, the crash all over the, again, like at yeah, the, the in black. And, oh my god, yes. it is so because that's my fear. Because remember, I told you that I got stuck in a train once mm-hmm. and we had to walk on the side and pitch black and the, all you hear no. was rats and all that stuff. I was like, bitch, <gasps> you got me. Mm-mm. Yeah, I yeah. Oh, that's when the, the, the Ryan Merriman, he gets like dragged on, against the wall. Yeah, on the glass and it's like, oh, I love so that good. scene. Yeah. Even though he's I'm so cute. You, I found this, the first three Final Destinations had me because mm-hmm. I was obsessed they with were. that elevator scene in part two when she, the mom yes! was oh, no, that, that was the one thing that I like, I couldn't sleep after watching that. I, mm-mm. Mm-mm. I still laugh every time the little kid's like, birdies! <gasps> oh, yeah. Gone. That bitch came down, too. honey. <laughs> oh, my God. That bitch folded up, honey. She was like, plop, plop, plop. It wasn't oh, was so I'm crazy. still terrified of log trucks as yeah, well. The, the, yep. the impact that that scene alone has had upon <laughs> society. Yeah. Poor Jeffrey Reddick. We're like, you deserve some type of award for that. Because I will always change lanes. I will. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I we were driving that, behind, the so one, it wasn't. She had me in a chokehold because she was fucking fabulous. The one with the, the she was pale, like black hair. That she yes. gets in the car. Oh, could the you one do with that? The yeah. yeah. Um, could Chris, you be a yeah. little? Could you be a little like, please? It's too loud. Yeah. Plah! I'll put it on. I'll oh put it on. God, I'll put it on. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Quiet mode. That'd be great. <laughs> she was so fabulous. She was with that cigarette, like. Mm. Oh my god, she was so kind. She was I in. Um. What was it? Bates Motel or whatever. Yes. She was in Bates Motel. Well, is it my turn now? Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. No, you no, you did it already. <laughs> That's the <laughs> thousands. Let's hear it. Um, so this is one of my favorite films ever. It's not a scream film. Shock it's not gonna be Scream 3. Um, no, it's <laughs> um it's 28 days later. Because oh. I am a huge fan of zombie films in general. And I'm very, it's not zombie. Shut up. Let me finish. Um, it, don't you what, see his penis in that film? Cillian Murphy's? The, yeah, the very Kill beginning. Yeah. Kill him. Yeah. Oh, Kill him. Sorry. Kill him. Um, but this film, that opening, I mean, this is why. It's you a know, very good penis. It's, yeah. Well, can I talk about the film now, please? Not his penis. This isn't the after <laughs> No, his <special>. penis. <laughs> if you want to hear about his penis, Make sure you head over to the Patreon for the after hours special later. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that film. I mean, penises me, are ugly, but mm, you know. But this film, <laughs> stunning. The cinematography of the opening, when that man is just walking around empty London and like just screaming hello. I'm like, there was mm-hmm. nothing. There didn't even need to be zombies. That moment, if you woke up and nobody was here, well, I mean, I'd be a bit excited, but like, you would just be like, what the F is going on? And the fact that they re, they sort of changed the idea of what a zombie is obviously these are people infected with rage so they have a bit more freedom with what they can do because they're not technically dead i mean they when they started when he's in the church and they all just start looking up and then run after him i was like this is 
it was too much. And then the queen who never gets talked about enough, Selena. Jesus, what a woman. Like Selena, Selena Smith Gomez? Era? No, the character Selena from 28 Days Later. Oh, I don't remember the character names. Naomi. Naomi Harris. Harris. Oh, I do like her. She is so good in that film. Like, it's just like the only Mm. thing I will say is that the girl who plays the daughter um, is from Liverpool and does the worst London accent I've ever heard. And I'm like, (laughs) just you could just pretend that your mum was from Liverpool because she's going like, we've all got to stick together. And it's like, this isn't fucking Matilda on Broadway. Let's let's do a proper (laughs) accent. Um, But. This film, I can watch it all the time. The fact that it's just like the metaphors, the fact that it's all basically about like oh, just people are all monsters. And then they are our monsters because, you know, they nearly end up doing the R word to people later on in the film. And it just it's it's a film that I love. The ending mm. has a nice bit of hope but for the rest of the film. You're just like, this is I would be dead. This is horrible. This is horrendous. So. I, okay. I love what it did. Yeah. And I, I kind of enjoyed 28 Weeks Later, but 28 Days I Later did not is like the sequel. just iconic. Is 28 okay. Days Later the one where the guy's like sitting down and he looks up and like there's like like the blood from a bird or something falls yeah, in his into eye his and eye. that's how he gets infected? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. You've got to be, never don't look up. I had a bird shit on me once in Park Avenue. I was so pissed. I was you like, turn, damn, in Park into- Avenue to get shit on in Park Avenue? That's some bullshit. I was I'm well, coming it, from the Apple store. Park- Park Avenue knew you shouldn't have been there and they <laughs> sent someone to get you. Right from the gutter. I was like Frank and Hooker. <laughs> oh, no, I have... Get your ass back in that train. <laughs> <Anyway>. <laughs> um, but yeah, I love that film and the score as well is amazing um, on that film. So that's my best pick. 28 okay. Days Later. Oh, right. It's a good, it's a very good pick. I love that film. Yeah. I recently rewatched them because they're so, on Disney Plus. Yeah, the they are. <laughs> they're on Disney Plus. <laughs> I still just find it saying saying that random shit is on Disney Plus. Hilarious. Oh my. Is Schindler's List on Disney Plus? It is. It actually is. In the UK. No, it's not. No, I don't know. I was going to say, girl, what is happening? (laughs) It's that star. You want to watch Encanto or you want to watch Schindler's List, kids? What do you want to watch today? (laughs) No, the the Jacob's um, Honor. So I (laughs) will... I will segue into, I guess my uh, pick for the worst of the 2000s is a film that I actually can watch anytime it's on. It doesn't matter, but I recognize it is a horrible, horrible film and it's a remake. Um, And it's kind of, you know, (laughs) Nick is ready to swing. I'm so ready. (laughs) What's happening? All right. So one of the things that started to happen um, during this time where there were so many incredible asian films that were remade um <laughs> oh i think no, it depends I'm which so one excited. you're gonna say i'm going to say and i'm telling you right now i love this film but it is a terrible film and it's one missed call oh, oh okay. i thought you were gonna I, say um i think you're gonna say the ring. Um, i thought he was gonna say that too oh uh, but uh, the grudge the grudge thank you i, oh, the grudge I thought you were gonna, you were gonna say too. the ring no i hated the grudge too but i didn't want to go that route Ooh, girl so i'll just yeah, I did. I actually hate that film. So, but I didn't oh want to go there. God, so those are fighting. I'm gonna go I don't with know if one missed call. Y'all got some cunts today, girl. Ooh. Oh, yeah, don't get me started on the grudge. I laughed the entire time I was watching that film. Okay, this is why um, wars happen. <laughs> like <why they're, laughs> poverty, AIDS, and yeah, AIDS, monkeypox. <laughs> I'll believe. Um. Anyways, Jutakas, please so continue. So that would be mine. One missed call. It it is just it's I love it's such a bad thing. film, but I love it's so bad. But oh, it's so I like to watch. It is rated like I nearly like zero, it. right? On yeah, on zero percent Rotten Tomatoes. That poster it's... is everything to me. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, it's so eyes. good. Yeah, mm-hmm. I like mm. that ringtone. Yeah, I used mm-hmm. to play it all the time. Mm-hmm. Sorry to make you mad on that one, Nick. But back I, when I, we only had four ringtones. Oh, yeah, cra- Crazy it. Frog was one of them. When I had my razor, my, my ring, Motorola V3, ring, ring. I used to record. I used to have Fergalicious as the ringtone and my Ooh. V3. I used to be pussy, honey, in oh school. God, yeah, huh? Y'all it's couldn't take me. <laughs> I understand. Right, ahead, Leah. <laughs> oh, Lord. Anyway. I just had flashbacks to that day. Um... That film when she so was, the no when she was when she when she was doing Fergalicious at that award show and she's just like forgetting the word and just like oh my god I won't tell you yeah she's 
an icon. She's yeah, she's, she's something. Uh... All right, so Liam, what's your pick? Um, my pick it's for like worse never again is Book of Shadows, Blair Witch Two. That is a shit film. Um, because as we know, I didn't don't like the first one. Um. But I still, I appreciate that other people enjoy it, and I would never put it as worst. Um, but <laughs> Blair Witch 2, what the? What was the fucking point? What, I don't know. What was the point? Why was it there? Who decided it was a good idea? You it know exactly stupid. why. Money. Yeah. But, but, yeah. if you're going to be Money, like, honey. oh, let's make, a se- let's make a sequel, like, why make something that isn't like anywhere near to what the first one was? Because they'd done it and maybe they thought nobody else. I feel like people maybe wanted answers. Well, because I think the gimmick sure. with the first one was because people being didn't found like footage. There were people yeah. that didn't mm-hmm. like the like what the fuck? You know what I mean? I feel like they got they went they went on a route that maybe they should have thought twice. Mm. Yeah. M-O-N-E-Y. That's, That's right. Why. M O N E Y so, so, so sexy. sexy. Yeah. I... <laughs> <laughs> Woo, the gayness just came out. Of <laughs> Anyways, um, but yes, I, I would agree with that. And it bombed. I mean, that's what killed yeah, the series. It and it deserved to bomb. Although I did terrible. love her. What was her name? The Goth. Oh, oh she, she was, was like so uh, when she when she oh. see her on the grave and uh oh. oh my gosh, she's so, uh, I love her. I did anyway. love when she like was stabbing the um attendant or whatever. When they were watching yeah. the um, CC TV footage or whatever, yeah, yeah. Oh, I love Cooper. That. Oh. <laughs> that he said CC, so it's Cooper. CC Cooper uh, is that the girl's real name? Omega Beta Zeta. <laughs> she should have lived. <laughs> and was that... <laughs> was that Eliza? <laughs> no, that was one of the. What was her name? Um, Ellen's wife. Oh, 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 oh. oh hi Sydney. Hello, Sydney. <laughs> No, she said the way she says it. She said it in a little weird. Like she had something. Like Harrison, I was like, oh, trying to do okay, Eliza voice. Voice. <laughs> She's giving me. She gave me Liza. <laughs> the gay jumped out even oh, more. Oh Lord. Lord. Okay, oh, <laughs> Nick. What is well, yeah, your that worst? Is, that's my worst. Um, <laughs> so I was split. So I have two. Okay. Um, well, you're a guest. I, I could not for pick. It. So the first one. It's direct video. It's I'll always know what you did last summer. Oh, that was so, <laughs> bad. That was so, so bad. bad. And speaking of Halloween five, the guy who plays Ben Willis in that is who played Michael Myers in Halloween five. Really? So, I did not know that. <laughs> the curse what, that it, the more you know. Um, the more you know. That movie was so bad. It it turned it into supernatural. Ugh, it was all th- that's that's all I'm gonna say about that. But <laughs> um the other one though is the final destination part four. Oh. That, which one is that one? The race That's track. The one where uh, he the gets roller, his ass the, the race the track. track. Yeah. yeah, the race yeah. track. Mm-hmm. The only positive thing about that movie to me is the guy that played whatever the main character was. Nick. He gave me the strongest sex dream I have ever had in my life. Like I woke I was in Good shock times. when I woke he up. He gave I was dizzy. Really? I was dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> I woke All up the blood <laughs> rushed from his head to his dick. Yeah, <laughs> give me some cigarette and a ham. Oh my god. Um, but yeah, that movie is so bad. It's like there's no practicals. It's all CGI. Yeah, it was. There was yeah. no like suspense or build up. Uh, ugh, it was no. I d- although, although I have to say, when he gets the shit sucked out of his asshole, <laughs> oh my god, that was so much fun to watch. I was I like, I would have done that to the main guy for free. Just filthy, just <laughs> filthy homosexuals on this podcast. Oh, oh my god, vile. <laughs> I, I mean, I would have done the same to. Well, I forgot his name. Now, the one that gave me the horror that gave me the was in uh, Friday the Thirteenth Part Two. The one the guy that gets hung upside down and gets cut in the throat. Damn, I watched him and uh, I was like, yeah. "How are you human?" Because he is so the lips. It was the lips for me. Like he was. Oh, and mm, I like big lips. Anyways, let's move on. Um. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's your turn, actually. Oh, it is? Oh, yeah. Oh, this one. I tried to watch it. I watched it in movie theaters when I was a little kid, and then I watched it again, and I fell asleep both times. The poster is one of the most terrifying posters I've ever seen, and it's fear.com. Oh, my God. Uh, I was going to have that was on my list. The poster 
is so terrifying. I was a kid. I was like, because it was like weird because it was like the black. It was like mm-hmm. dragging in the black of the eyes. And it was, Ooh, but she but was that- kind of snatched a little. Yeah, it was like gone and all that stuff. But mm-hmm. shit, that mo- I-, I was so bored. I was like, oh my god, how ca- how are you gonna make? How are you making this movie so boring? Because it, it was like a- like a killer and the internet. It was like when you know, you yeah. know, let's use internet as the you know now that in the new millennium and all that stuff. Let's be hip and square. But like, it's just like, girl, what are y'all doing? I fell asleep. I was like, oh my god, just kill everybody. Like, girl, what's happening? There was I can no forgive. Suspense. I can forgive anything i don't have to be i don't have to be grounded in reality it can be as ridiculous but do not bore me i don't care do not bore me it's supposed That's... to be horror step your mm-hmm. pussy up i you was know, bored it's funny because um fear.com is awful um but if anybody wants to see a film kind of like that just go watch untraceable it's actually not bad i've heard of this oh, i like untraceable um, with uh Deanne Lane and yes. um Colin Hanks Never similar it. it's a similar plot I mean almost similar plot but it oh actually has God. a good pace it is yeah. so boring I was like how is this even made I I mean I'm sure the editors even got fell asleep what direct like cutting this movie I was like oh my god so boring I couldn't that reminds me of there was two other movies that I feel like came out right in around the same time it was do you remember Boogeyman Yes. Uh, yes. That was mm-hmm. fucking boring too. And yeah. then there, mm-hmm. uh, what was the other? So there's Boogeyman. I can't believe they had uh, like three soul sequels. survivors. Oh, that was horrible. Mm, I was offended. I was offended. Eliza Dishku, and yes! that's what I got. I was so mad. Oh my god. Yes, because that was at like the height of her. You know, Buffy fame. Like everyone went. Like I wanted to see her in horror. Thank God she did Wrong Turn though. I I mm. love Wrong Turn. Oh, like she was mm. that. Is yes. a great film, but Soul Survivors. Yep. That is nice. But fear.com is bad. Too. Fear.com yeah. is one of those uh, with the poster being so good. That was one oh. of those things going to the video store and mm-hmm. picking out the movies. And I was like a kid and I didn't remember shit. And I would just rent that like every like three weeks going. I've never seen this. Look at the poster. <laughs> when you get home, oh, fucker. I love that. It's like, damn, because, the you know, because the poster hooks me. So, and I was like, damn, y'all had this poster. Y'all had so much potential. Like, God damn. It was also there was this movie, which actually was more fun, it, but it was in a video game that stay alive keep, stay alive yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, that, that's i really one. like that i like that movie i feel like do that do something like keep it you know oh but this i fell asleep I'm one time to watch i actually movie. enjoyed frankie muniz mm-hmm. i don't know what you're talking yeah, about yeah you just name people Malcolm in the middle school. frankie oh. muniz Malcolm yeah. in the middle. oh right 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 yeah oh yeah gotcha, big fat gotcha. liar <laughs> oh why do i love that film <laughs> Don't be ashamed. Stand in your truth. This is your truth. Stand. I'm in. sorry. Big Fat Liar is actually kind of humorous. Yeah. It's got an Academy Award winner in it. Wait, no, he didn't win. <laughs> okay. All Giamatti. Did he win? Okay. Oh, well, maybe win. for the after show. Yeah. Um, yep. uh-huh. Anyway. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. It's me. Oh, Lord. Jessica. <laughs> 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 Um, so <laughs> this movie, oh, um, was like, uh, I mean, I'm just gonna, it was Halloween, Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. Because, yeah, hold up, is this the one with Octavia Spencer? Yes, yeah, yeah. just hateful. <laughs> just hateful. Octavia Spencer is an absolute queen, but that film is not. Her death scene was so good. Though. I mean, it he was, was good. so violent. I was like, "Oh my god, not Octavia!" Oh, so <laughs> like, sad. I we didn't... should never support that happening to Octavia. No, like Mm-mm. give us anyway. But Eat I my shit, <laughs> George. Where's my mask? Um, anyway. <laughs> I know that's what we need. But um, yeah, I didn't. I didn't hate the first Rob Zombie film because I was like, "Oh, this is it's something different." It's I mean. Obviously, the better Laurie Strode, but um, I... yes, me, Senor. Please give me the strength. Please strike him down, please. Um, I quit. Oh my God! <laughs> but Lord, the oh, no, I'm joking. I couldn't didn't like uh, that. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're joking. Uh-huh. Yeah, I didn't like that one either. Um, but I oh. this the second film just was like a mess, and it was just like they he really. I mean, I thought the normal sequels took liberties with 
with the source material this one was just like we're just going to ignore the fact that this was even an original idea from anybody and he well rob zombie really went like the rob zombie route yes it was very rob zombie and i love rob zombie actually i find him very hot too but that's besides the point um like i like them dirty boys huh (laughs) have you ever seen i mean i'm sorry (laughs) but have you seen the music video dragula i love it out there um but i will say like I get that about that sequel because I I loved the kills. They were vicious, mm. mean, nasty. But the movie, like when it started to go in like the whole she was the white horse and all this. I'm yeah. Like, uh, all right. So, I don't like it when they give a it wasn't for me. I, I don't I, I'm very like with that when they do like switch it up and goes into like a more sci-fi yeah. like uh, something i just like I, maybe that's because i'm just a, a slasher fan and i just don't like it when it turns into like or when it turns into fantasy or when it turns into aliens or when it turns out i'm like oh my god please like now you see why i don't like asylum yeah well you're kind of crazy asylum what american uh, asylum? horror you know story asylum, asylum. You know asylum. You know asi- yeah yeah <laughs> why did i agree to this <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah i when it comes to slashers like halloween i don't want to see fantasy with michael myers true i want to see him just be if he would have stayed brutal throughout the entire movie i would have been living mm-hmm. but when you know when miss thing comes out and she's like it's time to take us home like you know no. i'm like girl okay well okay the party city so, wig you, you can no. go back home by yourself yeah. in the horse um i kind of like that movie but <laughs> but no. let me explain let me explain let me explain let me explain say it with your chest I don't think that Rob Zombie should be let anywhere near like a script. He's a oh. good director, but he cannot write dialogue. To say That's fair. Life. I agree. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think that Halloween Who's 2 would have been. <laughs> I am. I'm excited for the monsters. So. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Okay. <laughs> She's gorgeous. But please, for the love of God, stop putting Sherry Moon Zombie in movies. Please stop. True. Yes. She's gorgeous, but she cannot fucking act. Mm. The only time I've enjoyed her was um, House of a Thousand Corpses and Devil's Reject. Yeah. Yeah, she's fine in those movies because it Those are the only two movies I can stand for. for Yeah. Mm. But like with Halloween 2. Yeah, that was. If you remove that whole uh, him seeing her in the White Horse thing, it Mm -hmm. does not change the movie at all. Exactly. Like it was not necessary for it to be there. Um, but I do think like as compared to the newer Halloween movies, I feel like Halloween 2 gave a better representation of trauma. Family trauma or generational trauma? Demo <laughs> trauma. <laughs> Movie is about trauma. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm dead. Oh my but God, yeah. Hilarious. But uh, but the, the number one a crime that he made with that movie is you don't hear the Halloween theme until the credits. Yeah. This is true. That, that, that was... theme is iconic. Hmm. I yeah. wonder why. Did you ever say why did that you was. Did you hear what Georgia said? I, I know. I was. I, I, I we was got a compliment. Back. You better put it in the books. I was speechless, honey. Like, I, don't edit that part out. I like, I like <laughs> that. I'd always dance the Halloween theme. John Carpenter yes, is iconic. Yes, we know, George. You just George, you know this is recorded, and, right? Yes. I'm happy to say <laughs> he, it. He, uh, I will give George credit. He will always, at least, even though he's still problematic mm-hmm. and just George, he at least gives John Carpenter props for the score. So, yeah. I mean, and I'm you not going to shit on you for liking Rob okay. Zombie because I told you that I've come many times to the guy from Re- Devil's Reject. Which one? The middle guy. <laughs> oh, oh! Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. So I like dumb. when he gets violent. I love that shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> Interesting. Ugh. That's... Okay. Well, you yeah. know, though, this is... I, I, <laughs> I don't I mean, want to be... I don't I feel safe here I will not apologize for who makes me come. <laughs> <laughs> It was was no longer a safe space. When he took them to the field, when he was going to kill them, I was like, why am I turned on right now? This is sick. But I I did. And I'm not going to apologize for that. Oh, wait, that's (laughs) Bill Mosley. That's who you're talking about. Oh, the guy with the long hair. Yes. Yeah. That's Bill Mosley. He looks better with short hair. Anyways. Anyway, on that note, (laughs) we did it. We managed. It took us two hours, but we did it. (gasps) Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Basically two hours. Fuck. Well, we finally made it. <laughs> After it was a long struggle with not that much um, controversial comments, I would say. 
what? The struggle is real. Are I you must still have been on the podcast, bitch? Yeah. Like what? <laughs> so, anyways, I we have come to the end. I had a blast, except for one person. Um. Anyways, I just have to thank the gorgeous, the talented, Mr. Nick. Nick, can you please tell us where we can find you, other than OnlyFans? Uh. Well, <laughs> if I'm not at your local free clinic. Um, yeah. You can find me on YouTube at Nick Slash. Uh, what the fuck is my YouTube name? Nick Slash. Nick Says Boo. Oh. There we go. <laughs> oh, Lord. Or my Patreon, also Nick Says Boo. Gotcha. Thank you so much. And I want to say thank you to Yutaka. I want to say thank you to George. Um. Okay, anyways. So, <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> You know, he knows I love him. Um, Liam, thank you so much. And oh, fuck you. And check it, check us out. We're on Patreon, darling. Um, what's the name of the podcast? Oh, um, the Har Hour Podcast. Yes, if you want to check us out, we give we get filthy, we get rotted, unfiltered, uncensored. We're about to go live, too. We're oh yeah, we're about to go. Oh shit. Okay. Um, anyways. <laughs> Let this more. Anyways, darlings, I hope you had a good old time, but I'll see y'all next time. You have been listening to the horror hour. See you next time.